So it's been pretty great waking up this morning. Um, we had this buffalo right outside of our where we slept last night. Uh, it's kind of walking away. Some people showed up with the dogs. I think it spooked the the buffalo a little bit, but pretty excited. We have a lot more to see here. Beautiful sunrise at Theodore Roosevelt National Park. So we spent last night, slept in the back of the truck here at a uh, pull-off site, or I guess a rest station. We used it as a true rest station. We woke up at about 6 a.m. this morning, the sun was coming up, um, and some people were more starting to show up at the rest station. And there was a buffalo probably 50 yards outside of the truck for who knows how long. Um, we got to see him for a little bit and then he kind of wandered off and now we headed into uh, Theodore Roosevelt National Park and we're probably I don't know what three miles in Maybe like three miles yeah, into the probably. park and uh, there's this huge herd of bar buffalo we're parked by here um, they're crossing the road and uh, Got buffalo back behind us here. Got a really cool picture of the buffalo with the truck. <laughs> and then uh, we've got buffalo over here. They're behind us. They're watching a baby buffalo and its mom run out in the, the field right here. And this is the first time. Have you seen live buffalo out Outside in the wild? Outside the fence? No. <laughs> so this is both of our first time seeing. I mean, I can see in the rear view mirror right now a buffalo crossing the road. Uh, and um, I don't know, it's, it's so cool. We got buffalo all over out here, out here, excuse the windshield, haven't cleaned it yet from all of our traveling yesterday, but yeah, needless to say, we're, we're having a pretty fantastic time watching these. It's only the first day. How are you? We're just out here exploring, seeing what the park has to offer. Lisa loves horses, and I love donkeys. We just took a little 15 minute hike out here to, uh, I honestly don't even know what this is called, so it's probably pretty useless to tell you where this is, but at least it looks cool. So we took a quick detour and stopped by Mount Rushmore. Um, but it's pretty sad to see a lot of the, the heads are deteriorated quite a bit. Um, but it's still cool to see nonetheless, you know, all the, the history behind this place. You can see there's Washington, Franklin, Biden is going to be right there. And I think Obama, I think that used to be his, but it must have washed away. <coughs> well, we are... Yeah. Well, we are near the end of our Theodore Roosevelt National Park tour. Um, we're pretty much as far in as the roads will let us go right now. We have seen buffalo, a donkey, deer, wild horses, 
and uh, not gophers or hedgehogs. Dogs, like little ground dogs, dogs or yeah, prairie dogs. Prairie dogs. So we've seen a lot of wildlife. Um, we saw herds of buffalo. We've seen buffalo out on their own with the binoculars just on different lookouts we've been at. This is a super cool park. I've never seen anything like this before. What would you rate it out of 10? 10. 10, me too, I give it a 10. Totally a comeback. If you're into hiking, you could definitely do some long hikes. Most of the hikes were like seven to 14 miles. Mm -hmm. um, we stopped at a couple of the short, you know, half mile hikes and got some pretty good views, but we're probably gonna go head out of the park here now and start on our trip to Glacier. Um, try to get either there or close to there. We kind of decided last night we don't want to do too much road tripping during the night because we'd like to see the different scenery as we go down the roads. But we've been having a good time and uh, we'll keep you updated. So we are currently on our way back out of the park. We're still in the park, but kind of making our way back down and we just ran into a buffalo on the road and now we have a herd of wild horses that we're following. This is pretty cool. dealing with a North Dakota traffic jam um, it's a pretty pretty backed up traffic you know things aren't moving very quickly um, we're doing the best to kind of entertain ourselves while we, while we wait for uh, the road to open up again There's a bunch of buffalo out in a field down by this river bottom, so I just hiked down here quick to get some pictures. It's pretty cool. It's so beautiful out here. Just left Theodore Roosevelt Park, stopped at the Medora campground and took some showers, so we're feeling fresh now, and um, punched in. Whitefish, Montana on the GPS and it said 9 hours and 45 minutes. So it's about, honestly lost track of the time zone. It's, it says it's 12.46 right now. I don't know if that's central time or mountain time, but um, I guess it doesn't matter. We're probably, probably going to drive until the sun goes down and then we're still debating whether we want to try to find a hotel room or sleep in the truck again. But I think we want to get to one of the campgrounds in Glacier tomorrow morning around 8 a.m. so we can try to get a first come, first serve campsite. But Theodore Roosevelt, if you had horses for hiking or you just you know wanted to spend more time hiking there, there's a lot, a lot for that. Otherwise. I mean, we got to see a ton from the road. Yeah, see so much just from driving through the roads with the truck and stuff. Get a pretty good view. You can get really good pictures that way. You don't even have to get out of the vehicle for it. Some people chose to get out of the vehicle to get closer to the buffalo, but that's that's on them. You gotta get close to the buffalo. So yeah, we saw many herds of buffalo throughout the day. Um, and then some by themselves too. I'll show you a, a video or maybe you already saw the video of the massive buffalo walking right next to the truck. Um, what was your favorite thing we saw? The horses, the wild horses. 
it was like seven or eight wild horses just fought, we followed them on the road for quite a while and then they ran alongside of us and, the last group we saw there was a bunch of different groups of wild horses all different colors and it was really cool because they've never seen wild horses kind of felt like you're in a movie and then we saw with the binoculars we saw a couple mule deer um we saw one young mule deer right away in the morning like as soon as we got out of the park he was on the side of the road oh and we saw a flock of turkeys oh yeah there was a road blocked off that they hadn't shut down and the turkeys were guarding it making sure no one tried to get through but yeah we got a lot of driving ahead of us right now. The, the scenery is pretty cool. Yesterday was honestly so boring until we got to North Dakota. So we're, we're, you know, we're used to the Wisconsin, Minnesota scenery. So they got more excited when we hit North Dakota. And now today I feel like we're going to be wide-eyed the whole trip. Just checking out all the different parts of nature that we're not used to seeing. But yeah, we'll probably give another update once we figure out what we do, what we're gonna do for the night. Stopped for a quick detour here because it looks so cool. Parked the truck out in the middle of a field here. Well, we're on a little road. We aren't destructing anyone's property too much here. Um, but yeah, pretty cool view of the truck. You had to snag a few pictures. We got some sort of mountains over here. I think this might be Yellowstone. Um, we're cutting across east to west in Montana. So um, that's south of us. So I think that might be Yellowstone, but not really sure. away from the going to the sun road in Glacier National Park. Uh, we haven't made dinner yet. I think we are going to make BLTs on the Blackstone for dinner. Uh, so currently I have 48 miles of gas left, but I'm pretty sure that this town we're in has a gas station. So we're gonna fill up on gas and then probably cook dinner. And then- Figure out where to sleep. Yeah, figure out where to sleep. How would you rate your bed last night? The bed was like 8 out of 10. The sleep I, for me was like 3 out of 10. It wasn't fantastic. I couldn't, you... I, might, I couldn't get my head comfy enough when I was sleeping. See, Lisa only brought with one pillow and she normally sleeps with three. So... really struggling here. First row problems. All right. Train's gone, time to go. We're gone. We're currently cooking up dinner here. Got some reheated steak and mushrooms from last night and then some bacon. Um, and we're making BLTs. Lisa's cut up the tomatoes and gonna put some mayo on the bread and we'll have some campfire toast with our BLTs. Oh yeah, and we're in a grocery store parking lot. And a dude just walked by us. Oh, I'm not gonna see it too loud. A guy just walked by us with carrying a cowboy hat and a bow and arrow in his hands, and it was really weird. But I said hi to him. A little update on dinner. We got our toast on here. Bacon's cooking up. Got last night's leftovers warming up still. Should be ready soon. Yeah.
use that uh, grocery store parking lot BLT. Hold it up. Yes. Sure is, Florida. Have mercy, that's good. <laughs> oh.